but on March 11th, something uh, happened that kind of forever changed the course of our lives. And um, she went really um, deep into the schizophrenia and was um, delusional and uh, uh, accusing me of certain things, slashing tires or sending a naked picture or uh, stalking her or things like that that I didn't do. And uh, I'll show you the pictures. Do you want to go to jail? They'll be on Facebook in a few hours. All righty, you'll be in jail in a few hours. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. So JP Miller is not done showing his proof of lies that Micah's family has told and also clearing up the misconceptions about his marriage. So in this recent video that was posted to True Crime Rye, he starts explaining all the illnesses that Micah had, including bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. And he says that she was delusional. He then says that she started accusing him of certain things like stalking her, slashing her tires, or uploading a new pic to the internet. Things I didn't do, he says. He then says that on March 13th, he noticed a beautiful woman in a car that he didn't recognize and he then realized that it was Micah recording him. He also says that there was an Apple Air tag in his truck placed there by Micah. He says he then pulls out his phone and starts recording her record him. Now in the past, he does say that he would record their disagreements for his protection. He says that despite all of that, they got through it. Even in the midst of her delusion, he says that he would play along with it sometimes and pretend that he was this double agent and he would even make fake emails to an agency and pretend to resign and he says that that would help her take her meds and that's all she had to do really was take her meds and enjoy her life. So here is where JP messed up with this entire video. Number one, not taking ownership and admitting his wrongdoing. He was on film threatening to leak a topless photo of Micah at the dealership, but instead he denies it even after he has already issued an apology to News Nation. In that apology, it states, I'm sorry for putting a picture of you on the internet. It was far less than one hour and immediately taken down. I was hurt that you were telling everyone horrible intimate details of my past sin, and I just wanted to try to hurt you. Please forgive me. It was evil of me to do that. And what was the reason Micah had to place the air tag? Like there is a lot of this story that's not been shared. And unfortunately, Micah is not here to tell her side or to defend herself. He could have just left those details in the vault if all he was gonna do was to gaslight us. But I wanna know what you all think of this. I mean, let's say Micah did have this mental Ill illness. She was bipolar, all of that. How would the actions that he's playing help what she's going through? By you threatening to upload topless photos, by you stalking her, putting trackers on her car, threatening uh, to leave her or come harm her, there's even proof that he has threatened to throw all of her clothes out on the lawn. Like, how does that help any of her illnesses? But I want to know you guys' uh, response in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss out. Bye for now.